Hey you guys, today I'm going to do um, Atlanta Exes Season 1, Episode 3. Um, it's going to be a short review because I'm already late with it and you guys probably already seen other reviewers. So, um, It started off where it left off last week um, where Tori and Tamika and Tracy was still was going at it or whatever. And I was with Tamika on this. Like, why come to the event if you already got animosity, you already feel some type of way? Um, come on. Like, we already knew she she already had animosity towards Tamika before she even got there. Thanks to Cherie. So then she was like, Oh, let me go because I think I saw a rat. I'm like, girl, you trying to be funny, but you sounding more like a bitch. Like, get over yourself. Because she didn't give you the proper high you wanted. I don't know what's up with these reality stars in this high shit. If a bitch sounds like, how do you you keep it pushing? Or, you know, you feel some kind of way you either call them to the side or you leave. Like, to get ignorant was, it, I don't get it. But anyway, moving on from there. Because um, like Tamika said, the bitch could have called her, text her, whatever. And I agree. Um... Let's talk about Cherie. Cherie goes to her friend. I'm sorry, this bra is irritating me with this shirt. <laughs> but anyway, um, Cherie goes to her friend Monica Monique, whatever her name is, house her best friend house to see um uh, what all did Tamika have to say about her. You should have asked your friend what did she have to say about you. Come on, I like this. If a bitch is sitting there conversating with your best friend about you and your best friend didn't shut that shit down, she was conversating about you too. I'm just saying. Um, but she, the girl was telling her how, you know, Tamika was asked. I don't think she was really saying she was talking about her parenting skills. More of she was concerned about her. I think that's what she was trying to say. She was concerned about her. So she was coming to the friend to see where she Cherie was at. But Tamika, you should have went to Cherie. Just like I'm going to give it to Cherie about going to you, you should have went to her if you had a fucking problem. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. This is irritating. Let's see when your strap don't go away. You made it go. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Then the girl come bring up the thing that uh, Tamika said that uh, Cherie slept with Usher or Mike slept with Usher or whatever. So she was like, she hadn't slept with Usher, but she, um, this, I guess, talked to him before Tamika. They probably talked to him after Tamika. I don't trust her. But she just kept saying, I don't fuck with married men. And then she kept on saying, I don't, I didn't talk to him while she was with him. So I was kind of confused with that kind of, that whole situation. But I don't know. It's something about her. I wouldn't put it past her. I don't know. I don't get that vibe from her that she wouldn't. But anyway, um, my thing is, you already heard she said something about you. Go confront Tamika. This all is going to tell everybody else instead of the source irritates the fuck out of me. Then she was like, oh, I'm going to have to go talk to Tori. Why? Tori is the new one of the group, and it's supposed to be your friend for years. I hate when these bitches say they get on here and say we've been friends for years and then act like they don't know how the other one is. I'm quite sure Tamika's been a bitch. I'm quite sure Tamika's been outspoken for a long time. So to just say, act like she just start acting like this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Anyway, um, let's talk about, oh, let's keep on going with Cherie. So she goes and talks to Tori. And I think they go to talk, she go to talk to Tori because she know Tori will pop off and have her back. And I'm like, bitch, get your own backbone. Like, come on. But Tori talking about she's going to confront Tamika. She's tired of people letting her get away with this. But I'm like, what has she done to you? She has not done anything to you. So besides the little uh, tea market thing, and her not saying hi to you, what did she do to you? Nothing. But whatever. So they get to, um, let's get to Christine. Christine go talk to her son about her being, um, starting, you know, date over. 
he was cool with it. He was like, Mama, if you like it, I love it. You know what I'm saying? As long as he good for you. I thought that was really cool for her to talk to her teenage son because some mothers get out here and get with these new dudes and not take their kids' feelings into consideration. And then it's always turmoil between the new dude and the kids. I'm just saying. Um, so then she goes out on a date with um, Willie. They have a nice date painting. They talking. Um, she ended up telling him that she cannot have kids. So is that a deal breaker for him? And he's cool with it. He's like, let's take one day at a time. And, hey, things are going great because they're still together. I've seen on Instagram um, that they're still together. So, hey. Um, then, was her? Sure, not Cherie. Christine goes and talks to uh, Tamika because she wanted to get all the girls together. And she wants everything to get fixed. She tried to tell, you know, both. She, to me, she was trying to play, trying to play the peacemaker. And she see fault in both of their actions. So I like how she didn't take sides and stuff. She just wanted to work because she know all these girls got to be around each other and stuff like that. I'm probably saying, bitch, we need another season. We can't be doing all this and then get canceled. I'm just saying. But anyway, so then she goes, Christine ends up going to talk. I think I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. But she go, she goes and talk to uh, Mo. And they have this conversation about Mo getting her life back on track, her dating again, her just being out there again. We find out that Mo can't um, have no more kids either because when she was with Neo, she made the choice to not have any more kids, got her tubes ties, and now she kind of regrets it. So my thing, ladies, when you do stuff like that, make it, make sure it's for you and not your man. Who you with? I'm sorry, relationships, we hope they last, but they're not promised to us to last. So when you're doing life changing um, things like that, you have to make sure you do it for yourself. When I got my tools tied, I was it was for me. I was over there telling the doctor, like, please hurry up. Uh uh-uh, uh, don't want no more. Can't do this again. Like, cause I feel like this. After a boy and a fucking girl, what else is you gonna get? A monkey? I don't know. So for me to have three boys and a girl, there was nothing else I could do. My last two were some surprises, but I had them because I, I did it. I accept the responsibility, but there's nothing else you can have. So, yeah, if, when you're doing that shit, make sure it's for you. I'm just saying because I'm telling y'all, you never want to go through it where you finally find a person in your dreams and then you can't have no kids together and stuff like that. Um, Tori, okay, all the ladies, they end up... Uh, having a little weekly lunch or whatever. And Tamika's over it. Tamika's so over this bullshit. Like, I don't have time for this. I, we either going to fix it or we're going to move on. But I really can care less if we fix it or not. That's what Tamika's giving me. Um, but And Tori comes in with stank attitude. Sheree coming in like, bitch, I hope you say something so I can jump off too. But yeah, it, they start having this conversation, and Tamika makes this side-ass comment about, well, first I like the comment. She was like, I'd rather have two loyal friends than a gang of fake fucker friends. And I'm, I so get it, because I don't hang with a lot of people either. I don't talk to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So besides YouTube, that's the most people I'm talking to. I'm just saying, because you don't have time for people to act like they're your friend and then turn around and stab you in the back. So I get that part. But then she made a side comment about um trying to hurry up. She tried to make a side comment about um people sleeping with people husbands. So that opened the door of all hell to break loose. Then they was talking about how to sleep with the husband. But the the conversation between her and Sheree kind of died down real quick and they really didn't get what they needed to get out in that conversation because here come Tori. Her and Tori start arguing about saying hi and all this bullshit and how she think Tamika acts a certain way. And next thing you know, it got it went to Top Ramen's being on Tori head. I'm like, please, Tamika, um, you don't know how to talk about people. It's not funny. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That ain't how you clown people because no shit is you clowning yourself. So Tori start going in about how she's a thief. And how she's this and she's that, hood rat thief. And she was like, well, I could be a hood rat, but not a thief. 
And then she was talking about she was in jail. And it was just muslinging. Then Tamika, Tori said, told Tamika to kill herself, get in the casket, kill herself. I'm like, bitch, are you serious? Like, I understand you fighting dirty and arguing dirty, but really? After her son just, you know what I'm saying, had his situation, and this is what you come up with, then you start bringing her kids in there talking about um, you lost your first round of kids, then you lost your second round of kids. I'm like, bitch, I'm sorry. If I was to make, I would have jumped over that table. I would have snatched the shit out of Tori. I know Tamika try to be the more would think she's the more mature, classy one out the group, which I think is Christina, Christina, whatever she's our baby mama is, her and Mo is the more mature ladies in this group. But you know what I'm saying? But you know, you can tell it got edited because next moment they were sitting down, next minute they was up, and Tamika was going off how she would fuck her up, and I was sitting there like, please let her go, please let her fuck her up. Like this is the moment where we can don't fighting when you talk about people's kids and you put other people's kids in there, that's when we think about fighting. Then it was Triple Day was arguing about husbands and Tori talking about her husband built his career on talking about her. I'm like, but bitch, he didn't talk about you in a good way. No. And she be trying to live up off of Kevin's name to me. I don't know. But this is my review for Hollywood Exes episode, season one, episode three. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Talk to me. I'll talk to you back. Um, if the video is not up to par, I apologize. Like I said, my camera that I usually use will not charge for some reason. So I have to use this camera. And sometimes the voice don't go with the video or it just look crazy. I don't know. But y'all keep rolling with me. And I'm going to keep on bringing out the videos. They might be a little late, but... You know, I'm going through some things at home or whatever, so I'm trying. So y'all stick with me and I'll stick with y'all. Make sure you check out Ashley Miller and also Mike B 801 Bondi Blue also did a video for Hollywood Exes, so go check her out. Much love from KY. Um, my boy Scotty from Mrs. Still Standing. Uh, New Orleans Leo and Jamar Washington. Um, also check out my girl Some More Love. But yeah, I'll be back to do another video. Hopefully I can hurry up and get the waxes out and SWV out today. If not today, all my videos will try to be up this weekend. All right, you guys.